Hey RC Pokemon people, I made you a quick and easy watercolor tutorial for the holidays at home with Mr. Pikachu himself. You can check the materials I use on the description down below. Now in this video, feel free to pause and replay as much as you want during painting. I will also link a printed version of the drawing if you're not so much into sketching and more just into painting. Or you can even deviate and make it your own style. No pressure. Let's have fun! For those who want to practice sketching, a good tip is to use a grid to get the correct proportions and perspective of the image. You make a grid with a reference photo as well as to your drawing pad or paper. The grid breaks the image down into small shapes and lines which will be easier to follow as you sketch manually. Now on to my favorite part, the painting part. In watercolor, you always want to start with the lightest color, then you move on to the thicker and darker tones, and not the other way around. Well, most of the time though. You make the lightest color or the lightest tones by adding more water than pigments, then gradually adding more pigments to your brush as you move along. In here, I used wet on wet technique to blend in the colors, which means wet brush on wet paper. Then you use a blower to dry the painted paper, then to paint over it with another color or with more pigment. Next is you can paint wet on dry, which means wet brush on dry paper. Yes, patience is a virtue with watercolor. With Pikachu, I used shades of yellow with a little bit of orange and purple on the shadowy areas, which is not a lot on this image. I always use more water in the beginning just so I can just Gradually add pigment. Pikachu's hat has some white designs on it. Now remember, there's no white in watercolor. You either leave the portion unpainted to retain the paper's white color or use another kind of paint like gouache or acrylic to paint the white areas. Or if it's too tiny to leave out, you just use a masking fluid to leave the area unpainted. I used both techniques in here. When the paint gets dried, that's when you make corrections or add more colors based on your observations, as watercolor tends to fade when dried and might need another layer of pigment. As you can see, I did the darker lines and areas of the painting at the last part. As I've told you, I used both techniques, masking fluid and gouache for the white parts. In here, I used a masking fluid eraser to reveal the unpainted parts of the paper, retaining its white color. This time, I'm using the gouache to paint the other white designs. Sometimes I prefer to use masking fluid as gouache tends to become more translucent like a watercolor as it dries up and appears less white in the end. But also, I'd be cautious in using masking fluid as the eraser tends to destroy the paper. Then on to the background. I chose a snowy background just in time for the holidays. I did shades of purple and blue as it complements Pikachu's basic color which is the yellow. In a color wheel, you can see that purple and yellow are opposite each other, which means they are complementary colors. You can use them to complement each other, like purple makes a good shadow for yellow, and in turn, if you want a muted version of purple, just add yellow with it. Color mixing is a good practice in watercolor, and of course, you'll have to take note of the amount of water in each mix.
So there you have it folks, a bunch of watercolor basics in just one simple Pikachu holiday piece. I hope you enjoyed watching or making it as much as I did.